Hydrofera Blue is a simple, safe, effective, and proven moist wound dressing. The patented material is constructed of hydrophilic PVA sponge, complexed with two organic pigments, methylene blue and gentian violet. Hydrofera Blue wound dressing is intended for use on all types of wounds, including pressure ulcers, surgical wounds, diabetic ulcers, partial thickness burns, abrasions, lacerations, post-surgical incisions, donor sites, venous stasis ulcers, arterial ulcers, and any other wound as a result of trauma. The most important steps to using Hydrofera Blue are to moisten the dressing before use and to cover it with a proper secondary dressing. We have designed this video to provide you with instructions and tips as to the proper application of Hydrofera Blue on various wound examples and some appropriate alternatives to cover the dressing properly. Example 1. Stage 2 or Stage 3 Pressure Ulcers First, open the Hydrofera Blue pouch and hydrate it using sterile saline or sterile water. Next, wring out the excess fluid so the dressing is just moist. Hydrofera Blue can be trimmed to size to fit the wound bed, or it can be allowed to overlap the peri-wound area should the wound have edema or epiboli edges. Now, place the Hydrofera Blue on the wound bed area. If the wound is a non-exudating or low-exudating wound, secure the Hydrofera Blue with a cover dressing to help maintain the moisture in the dressing. Examples of such cover dressings are occlusive or semi-occlusive dressings, such as Tegaderm, Opsite, or any other film dressing that has a low vapor transfer rate. Vaseline gauze covered with a 4x4 gauze is also a good choice for a non-exudating wound. If the wound is moderately to heavily exudating, it should be secured with a secondary dressing to help pull the moisture out of the Hydrofera Blue. Such examples of appropriate dressings are gauze, border gauze, foams, ABD pads, or any other dressing with a high vapor transfer rate. These secondary dressings can then be secured with cling gauze or 4x4 gauze. After the dressing has been applied, it should be changed at 24 hours. At the 24-hour change, remove the Hydrofera Blue and inspect the dressing where it has been in direct and intimate contact with a wound. Check to see if the dressing has lightened or turned white. If the dressing has lightened or turned white, a new Hydrofera dressing should be applied and inspected and changed every 24 hours until the dressing no longer loses its color. At 24 hours, if the dressing has not lightened or turned white, a new Hydrofera Blue dressing should be applied. This dressing can be kept in place for up to 72 hours before it needs to be changed again unless strikethrough occurs. It is important to check the dressing during this time to ensure it does not dry out. If the Hydrofera Blue becomes dry, it can be rehydrated with a few drops of sterile saline or sterile water applied directly to the outer gauze. If a semi-occlusive or occlusive cover was used, you can place a slit in the corner of the film and rehydrate through the slit to the dressing. A simple way to remember what secondary dressing to use over Hydrofera Blue is if the wound is wet, cover it to make it dry. If the wound is dry, cover it to make it wet. These instructions are the basic application instructions for Hydrofera Blue that should be applied to all other wound types. However, other wound types may also have more serious complications and issues that require additional steps and products. Example 2. Unstageable or Stage 3 or 4 pressure ulcers, which may have eschar, subcutaneous fat, slough, granulation tissue, undermining, tunneling, exposed bone, and rolled wound edges. First, use an enzymatic debreeding agent to clean the wound. Hydrofera Blue dressings are compatible with enzymatic debreeders. Next, follow previous Hydrofera Blue application steps to cover the wound if there is no tunneling or undermining. The steps are open the pouch, hydrate the dressing, wring out the excess moisture and trim Hydrofera Blue if necessary before wound placement. Next, apply to the wound and choose a proper secondary dressing depending on amount of exudate. Wounds that have tunneling and or undermining should follow these additional steps to apply the dressings into the tunneling or undermining areas. For tunneling or sinus tracts in a wound, 
First, open the package of tunneling dressings and hydrate just the tip of the Hydrofera Blue tunnel dressing. Next, insert the tunneling dressing softened tip first into the wound tunnel. Cut to required length, leaving excess at the end of the tunnel. After the dressing is in place, use a syringe to hydrate the remainder of the tunnel dressing. Next, apply the Hydrofera Blue to the remainder of the wound bed and fill the void with moist gauze. With undermining, cut the Hydrofera Blue dressing to fill the undermining area. Place the trimmed dressing in the undermining area and lay an additional piece of Hydrofera along the base of the wound bed. Next, fill any void with moistened gauze and select the appropriate secondary dressing based on the amount of exudate coming from the wound. Also, follow the same 24-hour changing instructions. You can go back to the first pressure ulcer example in this video for a refresher of these steps and dressing examples. Note, Hydrofera Blue bacteriostatic wound dressings can be used over exposed bone and tendon. In addition, if rolled wound edges are present, Hydrofera Blue can be allowed to overlap these edges. Overlapping the Hydrofera Blue should allow the edges to flatten out within 24 to 48 hours. Example 3 Dehist Surgical Wounds First, as in the previous example, cleanse the wound. Then follow the same Hydrofera Blue prep instructions. Open, hydrate, wring out the excess moisture, apply to the wound, and select the appropriate secondary dressing. You can use tunnel dressings for some of the opened surgical wounds, in which case you must remember to hydrate just the tip of the dressing. In place of a tunnel dressing, you may also trim a regular Hydrofera Blue dressing to size and place it in the wound bed area. Now cover with a proper secondary dressing. Next, follow the same 24-hour changing instructions. Tips for removing and changing the Hydrofera Blue dressings. Should the dressing dry out in place, simply rehydrate the dressing with sterile water or sterile saline. Allow it to stay in place for two to three minutes and then slowly remove from the wound. With the proper wound application of Hydrofera Blue wound dressings, you will find it to be a highly beneficial, functional, and superior wound care product. For further questions and comments, feel free to contact us or check out our website at www.hydrofera.com. Thank you.